In this video, let's have a look at a journal entry sum as in how we are going to record the death of a partner settlement. So here they have given Janani, Janaki and Jamuna are partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio 3 is to 3 is to 1 respectively. Janaki died on 31st December 2017. Final amount due to her showed a credit balance of 1,40,000. Pass journal entry and they have given us three cases over here. So we are going to pass journal entry. So first of all, I am going to write the format of the journal entry. So the format of the journal entry is ready and in the date column I am going to write with the situation which they have given that is A. The amount due is paid off immediately. So the first concept here is Janaki is no more to receive the amount. So who will receive the amount is Janaki's executor. So debit the receiver. So we are going to debit Janaki's executor. Likewise what is going out of the business is money is going out in the form of bank account. So bank is going out. So bank is a giver. So therefore we are going to credit it. So the journal entry is Janaki's executor account data to bank account and her settlement being done immediately. So the value of the transaction is 1,40,000 on the debit as well as on the credit side. So this is, so after the first uh, journal entry, let's move on to the next one that is point B. The amount due is not paid immediately. So when it is not paid immediately, the amount is going to be transferred into the executor's loan account. So therefore, the journal entry goes as... So here, the journal entry is going to be Janani's executor account data. Why? Because Janani's executor is going to receive the value in the future date since Janani has passed away. And they are not settling it. Therefore, it is going to be treated as a loan for the executor, Janani's executor loan account. So the narration being Janani's amount due is not paid immediately. 1,40,000 will be paid in the future. So the only difference between the previous one and this one is instead of bank account, we are settling it immediately so bank account will be there. Here instead of the bank account, it is going to be Janani's executor's loan account. Let's move on into into the next one. So the next one is 75,000 paid and the balance in future. So the next one is going to be a combination of uh, point A and B. So here when we see at A and B we have Janney's executor account data which is common. He is going to be the person who is going to receive it. So data is common over here. So for the third journal entry for point C, it's going to be Janani's executor account debtor. He is going to receive the entire amount of 140. Okay. And 75,000 is paid. That means to bank and the remaining 65,000 is going to go into Janani's executor account. So the journal entry falls as Janani's executor account debtor to bank account to Janani's executor's loan account. So here Janani's amount due is partially settled. So here Janney's executor is going to receive a sum of 1,40,000 where 75,000 is paid immediately through the bank and the remaining 65,000 is paid later that is why it has been transferred to executor's loan account. If my video was helpful please do subscribe, comment, like and share.